we are going to talk about how to determine the equation for vertical asymptotes. And we are going to use this equation for secant as an example. So even though we see secant, the first thing I'm going to do is change it and treat it like cosine, the reciprocal of secant. Now I am assuming you already know how to transform the table for cosine with all the transformations of times 4 times 1 third and plus 1. So I'm going to skip this portion. I'm going to write down the original table for cosine. And since cosine starts the maximum. And this is the table for cosine. I'm just going to go through it pretty quickly. There's a time sport outside the parentheses. So I need to multiply this column, the y coordinate, by 4. So this becomes 4. This becomes 0, negative 4, 0, and 4. This tells me to multiply the x by 1 third. And that will become 0 pi over 6 pi over 3 pi over 2 and 2 pi over 3. <clears throat> and this here tells me to add 1 to the y because outside the parentheses. So plus 1 that will give me a 5, 1, negative 3 a 1, and a 5. So, here's our new table. Our new table is made of these numbers for the x, and these numbers for the y. If this was cosine, this will be your max, because it's the highest number out of all of those in the y column. This would be the minimum as it's the smallest number of all of them, and this would be the equilibrium, the number right exactly between 5 and negative 3. <coughs> now, we're not trying to graph cosine, we're trying to graph secant. That's what we're trying to graph. Now, this x portion would still be exactly the same. Now, this right here will not be your maximum anymore, it will not be your minimum, it will not be equilibrium, because they will change. They technically have to be the reciprocal of the original here before all the transformations. But it doesn't matter, we can figure out which one's the vertical asymptote. Wherever you see the equilibrium, that is when you get your undefined. Because right here, if you do the reciprocal of zero, that become undefined. It doesn't matter that you multiply by four, and then add the one later, it's always be undefined. These are your vertical asymptotes, right here. Specifically, are your vertical asymptotes. Wherever you see equilibrium, they will always become your asymptotes for secant, and also cosecant. <clears throat> so, how to write my equation knowing that these are my vertical asymptotes? So, you know, since I know it happens at pi over 6 and pi over 2, the equation will be x equals the first asymptote shows up at pi over 6. So I write pi over 6. 
plus. Now, how do I get from pi over 6 to pi over 2? So in order to figure that out, I actually have to do some scratch work on the side and subtract pi over 2 minus pi over 6. This number minus that number. I cannot subtract unless I have common denominator. So I'll multiply by 3 over 3. So that it becomes 3 pi over 6 minus 1 pi over 6, which is 2 pi over 6. And that can be reduced by 2. So it will become pi over 3. So that's how much I need to add to get from pi over 6 to pi over 2. I need to add pi over 3. And all you have to do is put n at the end. And here is your equation for vertical asymptote.